Okay, so here we go. Trying to do this again. Watching paint dry. Clan rats with spears from the island of blood set. So here the guys are all assembled up. These guys went together real fast. Nothing to them. So, as you can see, I've painted these guys brown with some spray paint. High elves, uh, they were given a gray spray paint. This is just a Krylon boot brown. And, of course, in order to get through the day, I have my Tim Hortons coffee. Uh, so here we have some uh, Scorch Brown that I'm putting on the hairy bits because they're going to be a bit darker color. I've watered that down so it'll go on pretty fast and easy and give a bit of highlight when it's watered down. It's going over a lighter color. So it's hard to see it really on these guys from this angle, but it just helps give it a bit more variation. Uh, I tried to paint all of the Skaven the same way. Uh, at the same time, but I discovered that was going to take way too long and I would just be making no progress, so I broke it off and just did these 20 Skaven. Um, so here I'm starting to use uh, a bit of the uh, Rosy Flesh Triad from uh, Reaper range, uh, doing the kind of flesh areas on the Skaven. It's going to get a wash later to help blend it. Just trying to do that real quick. Here's the uh, champion of the unit. Just You can see their tail. Gonna get some on his feet. This guy has some more armor on his feet, so not so much. But hands, feet, uh, face, tail, that kind of stuff. Uh, here I'm just starting to add some gray to the shields. For the uh, silver and metal bits, it's going to be a um, black and devil and mud wash, and some highlights uh, with uh, bolt gun, some stippling with re uh, reaper rust brown, and then some chainmail for the edge highlights. See, some of these guys have a bit more. Um, metal on them. Now the shields I've done that sort of two tones. It's going to be kind of a brownish color. I'll take care of that with the washes to get it down nice and dark and then I'll highlight it up a little bit. Now I've started to move on some other colors here. I've got some uh, sort of a yellowy brown for the shafts of the spears and for the uh, the backs on these skaven here. Um, the kind of the hoods that they all got. Uh, it's a reaper red ink actually kind of comes out like GW Scab Red, but it goes on really thin. The paint is like a really watery because it's an ink, but it's also lots of pigment. And here you can see on the, the banner here, I believe that was um, Denim Stone base coat, and then it's got Griffin Sepia wash. You can just see how it pools, and that'll just go in the cracks. And at the same time, I did the Griffin Sepia for all the, the flesh areas, and uh, I used the Denim Stone on the, the kind of wraps some of these guys have on their feet and their hands. Now the, the Greffin Sepia, it's also going to go on uh, their cloaks, the guys who had sort of a, oh I didn't actually do a base coat on it, just left, left it with a spray paint color. Um, so that's the only kind of highlight and shade it got. Now you can see the red here, I've started to add some, some blood red to the folds of the cloth just to help bring up the uh, colors and that'll just help uh, make them stand out a bit more. Um, here I'm using Reaper Polish Bone to highlight up after the wash. You can see how it kind of blends in that even though it was pooled, that area there is quite dark. Um, and uh, you know, the, just trying to catch the high areas. There's obviously going to be some freehanding kind of stuff here later. You'll see that. Uh, so I'm not too worried about blending it that much. And plus this is just a regular scaven unit. Uh, getting pretty close to the end here. Uh, you can see how dark that gray ended up getting after uh, I believe that's just a back black wash. Might even be just that one mud. But both of them would together would bring it down quite dark. Then we got our uh, bolt gun metal here, just a kind of a dry brush. You can see I've gone over these here, the strapping bits with the uh, denim stone again, just to kind of bring it out and get it after that wash. Use scorpion green on the warp stone. That's kind of the go-to color for warp stone for me, uh, as well as thraka wash. And maybe uh, if I wanted to catch the edges, I'd use a bit of uh, yellow mixed with the scorpion green. Here you can see the shields, how they're kind of coming out. Getting pretty close, adding some more details like teeth. Um, the eyes I'm going to do yellow on these guys. I did do yellow on these guys rather than red. Um, I'm getting ready to rank them up, see how they look. You can see the freehand has been done there. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, it's kind of pretty quick. And it also has the, the Reaper Rust Brown on the metal. Uh, you'll be able to see it on uh, some of these side shots. You can just see it a bit more there. You see, there's not a lot of uh, different colors, but you, the flesh definitely looks different than the, the, the cloaks and the, the spears. So there's just slightly different browns. It gives you a bit more um, depth to things. 
you see the, the rust there on the, the different spears and again the uh, the free handing there and you know, the bell kind of stands out and the the red there complements the the green grass patches that you have here and there there they are from the side the other side and from the rear and that's for the blog my blog you can check out other stuff it's like watching paint dry blogspot.com these are painted for miniwargaming.com check the links below um, for more content that I've posted there and royalty free music from comtech.com hope you enjoyed it